Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on filter design. For this video, I'm going to introduce the formula that we need in order to design a couple line band pass filter. So this will be the objective of this video. Okay, the next video, I'm going to give you an example. How can we actually design a couple line band pass filter? So the third video, okay, I will actually convert the couple line into a micro strip line. And then last but not least, the fourth video, okay, I hope to design this couple line band pass filter using ADS. So in order to fully discuss how can we actually design and implement this couple line band pass filter on a micro strip line. So this will be my overall objective how can we actually design a couple line band pass filter on a microchip line? This will be the part 24 series discussion on filter design. So guys, if you're keen to know more about filter design, for example, low pass filter, band pass filter, or even high pass filter, okay, currently, okay, you can take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on filter design. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, thank you so much for your strong support. I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's kick start the discussion by understanding how can we actually implement this couple line band pass filter. Okay, a very narrow band, band pass filter can be made with several cascaded couple line sessions, each apply a resonant response that contribute to the whole band pass filter's frequency response, for example. Okay, so over here you can see that these are so called a couple line. So over here, you can see that there are basically several cascaded couple line sessions in order to implement this band pass filter. So in short, this is what we call a couple line band pass filter. Okay, one thing I want to highlight, okay, for example, when n is equal to 3, then we need to have four cascaded couple line sessions in order to achieve this n equals to 3 band pass filter frequency response. Another example over here is actually n equals to 4. And when n is equals to 4, in short, I need to have 5. So in short, how many couple line I need is basically n plus 1. So when n is equals to 4, I need 5 session of cascaded couple line session in order to implement this band pass filter response on a couple line. Okay, so later on, okay, I will illustrate with an example so that you fully understand how can we actually design this couple line band pass filter? What is the key advantage of this couple line filter over a lot of other possible distributed filter? Okay, basically will be the coupling between resonator. Okay, they can be either strong or so-called weak. Okay, so when we actually want to have a strong coupling, okay, what we need to do is the pair of couple line need to be very close to each other. Or if we need to have a low coupling, okay, which means that they need to be further separated. Okay, so over here, you can see that this is actually with a very low coupling of the resonator. Okay, you can see that the couple line are separate further away. So again, from here, you can imagine lesser energy will be able to couple over. And because of this, typically, you can imagine that we will have a smaller bandwidth. Over here, you can see that they are so-called tightly coupling or high coupling which means that the space between the couple line is so much short, smaller or closer as compared to the resonator on your left so over here you can see that most of the energy will be able to couple over okay over here you can imagine that we are going to have a high bandwidth so over here you mentioned here so in when we actually want to have so-called high bandwidth okay we need to have a high coupling and then when we actually need to have a high coupling, 
the couple line need to be as close as possible. So this is what we mentioned about high bandwidth, okay, typically from 70 to 30%. Medium will be from 30 to 10%. And let's say we need to have a very narrow bandwidth. Okay, so basically, typically is from 10 to 3% of the bandwidth. So over here, you can see that the quantity or the how much is the bandwidth depend on the spacing between the couple line. The closer it is, the higher the bandwidth because more energy can be coupled over. The further away, okay, the lesser the bandwidth because less energy can be coupled over. Okay, so basically, these are all illustrated here, okay, which I will not uh, elaborate more. So these couple line filters are also very compact and they can easily implement in microstrip line. So later on, I will design this couple line band pass filter on a micro strip line okay but i need several video as i mentioned earlier on okay so beside band pass filter you realize that the couple line can actually also implement as a low pass filter okay but in short typically for a couple line they are actually desired to be have a band pass filter band pass frequency response as you can see from here so over here it based on a different configuration. So over here, this is short circuit. This is where the input, this is where the output, then I actually can achieve a low pass frequency response. So this will be the band pass filter. Okay, for this video, I'm going to fulfill this couple line band pass filter using this screw number three. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for this video. Okay, and another configuration of couple line okay, we've grounded here, you can also implement a band pass filter. Okay, besides low pass and band pass, okay, we can also have all pass, okay, which all the band will be passed by again by the different configuration of the couple line. Okay, you actually can have different frequency response. But like what I mentioned earlier on, okay, this will be our objective for this video. Okay, so these are the set of equation that we need. Okay, in order to design the couple line band pass filter. So in short, these are the formulas that we need. How can we use this formula? Okay, so basically, for example, from here, okay, let's say I'm tasked to design okay, n equals to 3. So once it's n equals to 3, I need to have four sessions of couple line. So over here, you can see that this is the first session couple line, second session couple line, this is, will be the third session couple line, and this will be the fourth session couple line. Okay, over here, this will be the input, this will be the output. So over here, you can see that basically the desired output for the band pass filter is achieved okay, with this three set of formula. Okay, so I will illustrate further how can we actually implement this three set of formula. Okay, the three set of formula that I mentioned on the previous slide, they are all in green over here. Okay, for example, when we actually do the N1, the first session of the couple line, okay, we need to use this set of formula. So this will be the first set of the couple line session. This will be the last session of the couple line. Okay, for this case here, okay, which we will design N4 on the fourth session of the couple line, which is also the last session of the couple line. And basically these two in between will be using this set of formula. So like, what I mentioned, this will be the first, this will be the last. So for example, over here, let's say I'm designing the second session. This will be J2. This will be 2 minus 1, which is G1, and then G2, which is shown over here. So this will be the third session. Again, I will use this set of formula. So this will be J3. Okay, again, from here, this will be G2, G3. So in short, this will be the first session that I will use this set of formula. The last session of formula, uh, the last session of the couple line, I will use this set of formula. And anything in between, okay, I will be using this set of formula. So once with this, okay, we are ready to design the couple line band pass filter. Okay, so again, okay, if you think this video helped you, okay, please consider to like this video and also subscribe to this channel. Okay, besides obtaining the three set of formula, okay, we also need to obtain the even and odd mode characteristic impedance in order to determine the width okay, and also the gap in between the couple line. 
okay, we need to achieve this even and odd characteristic impedance. So this, again, are the another set of formula that we need. So beside these three set of formula, okay, we also need to calculate the even and odd characteristic impedance in order to fully design this couple line band pass filter. Okay, so next video, okay, I will be doing this example. Okay, so this example actually tasks us to design a couple line band pass filter with n equals to 3 and a 0 0.5 dB equal ripple response. Okay, the center frequency is 2 gigahertz. The bandwidth is 10% and the input and output impedance is equal to 50 ohm. Okay, the question asks, what is the antenation at 1.8 gigahertz? Okay, so this example, I will complete it with my next video. But over here, as I mentioned early on, this n is equal to 3. So therefore, I know that I need to have four sessions of couple line. So this will be the first session. This will be the second session. This will be the third session. And this will be the fourth session. And remember how I actually obtained all this number. Okay, remember early on, I have mentioned this three cell formula. So this will be on the first session. This will be on the last session. This will be in between. So for this case, I have two. So basically, this second session and third session will be using this formula. Okay, so over here. Okay, so basically with this, okay, I would like to end my discussion. My next video, I'm going to discuss how can we actually design this couple line band pass filter okay, with this example. With this, thank you so much. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much for strong support.